What is going on, YouTube? It is Mr. Seven here, back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, and look! It's Raptor Claws! He actually came near my base and started dropping his presents, so I figured we'd do a little video. I haven't done anything with the winter event, really. So let's go hit up these crates and see what's up. Uh, I have my birds with me because I was heading to the north to get some oil. But then, uh, yeah, he appeared. He was, like, right there. So that's Raptor Claws. I think it is seen in... Ooh, lag. I think you've seen in a few of my videos so far, he's been rolling in. So let's go down and grab this one. He can land right on top. Yep. <laughs> Let's ride it to the bottom. So we drop one, two, three so far. Maybe it. Maybe not. I don't know. Those ones are a little far away. I don't know if we'll make it to those ones. We're gonna try though. Get out of the way, birds. Oh, okay, he dropped. He, he he stopped. He landed. There we go. So what's in here? Coal. You can use coal to summon the dodo rex. I don't even really want it. Uh, I don't. I think it's like a thousand coal, and there's just no way I'm going to get that many. I, mean, I don't really chase these things very often. I only did it now because he's like right near the base. Oh, Thunderbird, get out of my face. Uh, what do we get? Some mistletoe? Ooh, eight mistletoe. That's actually a lot. Where is Thunderbird? Here we are. Everybody follow Thunderbird. might lose them. I might have to find them again. Uh, one there, one there, and one there. So we might be able to make it to all five of them. Oh man, Journeyman Quetz platform saddle? That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, those things are expensive. I couldn't even imagine what a Journeyman would cost to make. Can you drop another one between these two? Doesn't look like it. Oh, my birds are keeping up. That's crazy. Journey. We'll have to check the stats on that after this because I have limited time. <laughs> Free platform saddle, though. Whether it's Journeyman or not, that thing's like. We can look at the cost of it when we get back, I think. I think you can be, make it at 75, but it might be 80. Five more mistletoe. So, not bad. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, <laughs> man, flying death killed everything. Alright, let's get back on... Where's Thunderbird? Come here, Thunderbird. Come here, Thunderbird. Why are you freaking out? Come on. Alright, let's get back on Thunderbird. So, let's take a look at the stats of this thing. 57 armor, 121 durability. The, the durability doesn't really matter, because I don't think saddle platforms... Or saddles can actually break. But, the armor is definitely good. doesn't matter so much considering uh, qu the Quetzals should really never take damage. Where's my base here? I think it's... Uh, where am I? Uh, it is this way. Alright, so we're going to fly back to base. And take a look at what's going on over there. But yeah, that Raptor Claws thing is pretty cool. Pretty much everything else about this event is kind of eh. I mean, I cannot wait for the snow to go away. And it's it wouldn't matter to me so much if I was had been playing on this server for a long time, but being in the beginning stages of a server and having there be snow all over the place is really, really annoying. Like, uh, you know how much it costs to make a full set of fur? It's like 300 pelt. So you would have to kill mammoths and stuff right away, which is hard enough. I mean, I have flying death, so when when I needed to actually get fur, like I just rocked around in pelt or uh, pelt uh, flak for a while. But I, almost every time it turned nighttime, I was freezing to death. So I had to make the upgrade to fur, and it took me like I don't know ten minutes to kill enough mammoths to get all the fur I needed, but. Definitely for someone who started, like, uh, earlier I had 
uh, Daron came on. It was actually Daron's brother, but uh, on Daron's account, and he was like freezing to death because he was level seven or one or whatever, one to seven. And I, I, had, I hooked him up with a set of fur just to allow him to survive so that he could gather, but this is really rough for people in the beginning. Alright, so we're here at the base. And let's go ahead, put the map away, tell you to chill out. First thing we want to look at is over here. So in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, we built the walls and the gates and the walls up here, and I added this area. So the ramp's kind of off, but it works perfectly for the mammoth. You can walk right up, and here I have refining forges that are just constantly burning wood. I can fill the mammoth up. He has like 870 weight now or something like that. So I can fill him up with, I don't know, what is that, 15 stacks of wood? And just fill up refining forges and have it constantly be burning for charcoal. So I originally I had this ladder up and then I realized that I myself could only carry like four stacks of wood. So it would make more sense if I could just walk the mammoth up. So I set that up that way. I built this little thing. Because I was afraid I would fall trying to get to the ladder. And I have actually been using the ladder. But uh, yeah, I was afraid I would fall, so I put the wall here so you can't fall. And I don't think you can... Should we test it? Not with the quest platform. But yeah, I don't think you can fall down there. And then I added this wire, which I th I'm thinking the base is going to expand this way. So the wire will eventually be hidden. But uh, I added the wire here and the seizure-inducing junction box. So I put a second refrigerator, or, yeah, a second refrigerator here, and this is where I'm keeping all my meat. I put lights so I could see at night without gamma. Like if I turn my gamma back down, I can still see just fine. I added two more preserving bins, and I'm actually making jerky now, so I can start getting kibble going. This jerky lasts 19 days. Do they all last that long? Yeah, 19 days in a preserving bin. And it would be, like, let's take a look at this. Let's take the jerky out. And we'll pop it in this fridge here. Look at that. 198 days. So, <laughs> the jerky's I'm pretty much never going to spoil. Uh, you already saw that. I added another light in here, so you can see. And they work really well. I mean, for being as cheap as they are. I added another refrigerator. This one's going to be for eggs. And look at our crop situation. Our crops are growing like crazy. Like I have almost four stacks of everything. I don't know why I don't have long grass. I must not, not have harvested it. Oh, and this, I built the canteen. So it holds three drinks of water. Because the water skin was just killing me. I mean, I, I never had it full pretty much. Uh, I think I showed you this in the last episode. Got that from uh, as the second Alpha T-Rex I killed. I had the Journeyman. So yeah, I mean, everything's going good over here. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, that's all the canteen costs to make. So it's not very expensive. Now can I learn the... I ah, see it's level 80 for the Quetz platform saddle. But it's I can assure you, I've, I've made it before, it's not cheap. And this thing is great. I mean, to get a free Journeyman saddle, can't beat it, really. Oh look, we can craft all kinds of stuff now. Uh, it's kind of late for a Christmas tree. Uh, why not? Let's make a couple of holiday lights. We might as well do something with the mistletoe. Let's see what these look like. Oh, what the? No ground or snap point? What is this? Oh, is it like... Oh, it is! They're like Christmas lights. Oh, I did not mean to place them that way. Uh, yeah, you only get fiber back. Mm. 
I suppose. There. Look at that. We got holiday lights. We're all about that Christmas life. Let's just make the rest of that into it. Use up all that mistletoe. Or should we do this? Hmm. Nah, let's just do holiday lights. That is a really good find. I mean, it's not something I can use immediately, but it is definitely something I will use. Alright, let's grab these three, and then let the rest of those craft up. This is kind of a silly thing to have, really. Oh, it snaps to the other holiday lights. Hold on this side. Snap. Look at that. Christmassy. Only a few days late. <laughs> like a week or something. Ugh. So yeah, um, I do record my videos a little bit in, in advance. Because uh, at the time that I'm recording this, I'm on holidays from work. So I have more time. But once I go back to work, it's going to be a lot harder to keep up with the... Uh, the daily videos. I'm still gonna do my best, but I think let's do some right here. Look at that. They don't even need power. These are they're powered by Christmas magic. Look at this beautiful. Beautiful. Just do another row. Another one here. Awesome. Uh, we have one more. Let's do them right over the door. Or right over the window. Look at that. I don't know why it goes into the wood like that. That seems odd. That's weird. But yeah, I went and did a massive metal run. And I filled all four birds up complete with metal. So I could build those refrigerators, and now I just have spare metal going on here. And actually, let's take a look at this right now. I will need to learn gunpowder, the flare gun. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Simple pistol, bullet, scope, long neck rifle, and this. Okay, so I want to build. A long neck rifle. That is a crossbow. Firearms. Awesome. So we can build a long neck rifle. And now we need to start making gunpowder. Now that I have all that charcoal going. So we have a long neck rifle. No bullets for it yet, but we have the rifle. And that's good. One thing I wanted to get into... I don't even think I unlocked it. Um, cooking pot. I want to get into dyes. Because I want to be able to dye my stuff. So what does a cooking pot cost to make? 75 stone, 15 thatch, 10 wood, set 5 flint. Uh, I think I have everything but the stone. I don't need that. I'll grab that. Got wood. No stone. No flint. Okay, so I can get that stuff easily. Oh, there's some lag. What is going on? Are those Christmas lights causing lag? I was lagging before I put them up. Alright, we have stone. And... I guess I don't have any flint. <coughs> Not at all. So, I just need to run out and grab some real fast. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, need some meat. It's right here. Lots of flint. And get the rest of this in stone. Alright, so we might even be able to make two. Yup. Now, ooh, over raptor. Will you go down in one trank? 
I doubt it. Oh my god, he did. Uh, Overwrapped is obtained with eggs. I don't have any eggs, so... I kind of just did that because I had a, a drink. But what Overwrappers do is... Uh, you know what? I'll get into it in the episode that obtained the Overwrappers. If you follow Ark, you probably already know what Overwrappers do. Now where's going to be... You know what? I will need to set this up down here. Climb the extremely long ladder. I need the ladder though, because if I fall from that height, I just die. And sometimes my body goes into the world. And then it's all over for me. Get our cooking pots out. So I'm thinking the best place to set these up is going to be over here. Can I reach that water from down here? I can reach it from here. Right? Yes. So, probably right about... Mm, let's set them up like this. Then I can access the water from there. So I'll need some berries. And I'm thinking my colors are going to be red and black. Because I like those colors. So let me get some berries, let me get the cooking started, and I'll be right back. Alright. So, uh, to make dye, what you need is charcoal, the color you want, and it gets more advanced the further you go in. Like, you can make all kinds of other dyes. Some of them take spark powder, some of them take gunpowder. Basically, what you need is... The colors you want, a little bit of charcoal usually, and then water. You get water with just water skins like this. And you'll see in a second here. I'm just going to take the berries, the charcoal, and the water, mix it up, and give you some dye. See? Black dye. Red dye. So let's pop that out. Put another one in. We're just going to make up uh, as much dye as we can right now, uh, just to just to have on hand. Oh, standing on the fire. Standing on the fire. Let's take that out, pop those in. I can't remember, like I don't know the exact ratio of berries to charcoal to dye, you know how much I'll get exactly out of this, but I know it'll be enough to paint like all my stuff. Seems to be running through the berries pretty quick. But we'll do up uh, all these berries and see how where we get. Did something just hit me? No, it just walked in the fire again. Uh, throw these in here. Stop walking into the fire. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not even that close. Like you don't get burned like that on a regular campfire. Why are these so much hotter? Alright, let's get that in there. Should almost be done here. And I definitely want to paint my base up, but I want to wait until I get into metal. So I don't paint it all twice, pretty much. Uh, let's, let's take a look here. So, I think it's using this one. So we got 77 charcoal, 50 charcoal, 67 berries. So it goes 15 berries and 2 charcoal and one thing of water per 5 dye. I think that's it. I think that's what it is. Oh man, this one's running out of water. And it might be different for every color. 
but that's what that one is. I mean, it's not like berries are hard to come by. I have the mammoth. He gets tons and tons of berries. Oh, I also tamed an Anki. It was only a level 52 when I knocked it out, but we needed an Anki. Alright, so this one's done. Uh, we'll just throw those back in there. Uh, we got 90 die. Grab our charcoal back. Those are just going to expire, whatever, with that. Uh, we'll just leave our water skins in here. Just to have them there for next time. And this one... Still going. Oh no, it's done. It's done. Alright, so we'll do the same thing. Let's grab our charcoal. Throw away that wood. And, alright, so we got plenty of dye. I don't need those. So let's go back up to the base here. I'm going to get some of my stuff painted up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Alright, so we're standing in our perfect crystal, or crystal Christmas light hallway. Uh, this is the new colors. So I got, for the fur, it was black on the fur and red on the leather parts. And then I have my pick. Check that out. I think it looks pretty good. My hatchet. About the same idea. My sickle. My sword. And my crossbow. Looking deadly now. You want some of this? And then I also went ahead and did my flak armor. Which I think looks pretty good. Now, I did this because pretty much after the Christmas event is over, I'm not going to be wearing the fur unless I go to the north. So I wanted to make sure I had my flak painted up in her colors. Now, there's one more quick thing I want to do. Be right back. Alright, so we couldn't leave Flying Death like, like she was. So we got her saddle painted up. Let's take a look. You can see it better in this view. It looks pretty good. It matches us pretty good. So now we're like uh, uniformed, ready to go into battle. And I wanted to mess around with the war paint a little bit, but it doesn't show up that well. Uh, if I take... how do I turn it? I forget how to turn it. Uh, there we go. So... If I take the paint and I come right in like this, see how it barely even shows up? Uh, thick paint, shift plus left mouse button. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. See how like it does nothing? If I take the red here. The red shows up. I don't know if we want to do flying death red like that. Maybe... Maybe, like, let's see what this looks like here if I do the tail feathers. I definitely want flying got to stand out from the other birds so they all know. That she's not to be messed with. Get right in there. So we I get it all? Yeah, but oh, not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's turn upside down. Yeah, paint it all underneath too. Now can I go? So control plus right mouse button to erase. Get this paint off of here. I zoom in any further? I think that's it. So I erase that, erase that. And then let's go up top again. Did I get rid of anything up here? It did a little bit. Maybe we'll go straight up like this. And right to there. 
And what did that do underneath? Nothing really. Um, okay, so let's save paint. No, I don't want to save paint. I just want to close. Let's take a look. You know what? It's not bad. It kind of makes it match the wings. But let's go... I think this episode's running a little long now. Let's see if we can't... Like this... Alright, let's see what it looks like. You know what? I kind of like it. I know it's kind of hard to see at night. Let's go Gamma 4. Kind of like it. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's not bad. Just kind of gives them, gives her a little bit of those accents, make it stand out. Now I like that part less. Uh, okay, well anyway, I'll probably do a little more touching up of the, the war paint, but that's going to be it for today. We got a little bit of a look at what's going on with the raptor claws. We got some painting done, got our armor done, make flying death look a little better. Oh look, I even made our little glasses black and red. That's nice. If you like the video, leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss out on any of the ARC videos or uh, the other videos I do. Uh, Fallout on Friday. I'm having a lot of fun with Fallout. But yeah, that's definitely going to be it. This is Mr. Seven. Later, YouTube.